Well, my name is Walter Kachuk. I originally came from um, South Porcupine, Ontario. I grew up there and I uh, left South Porcupine when I was just turning 16 and I came down south. My uh, parents were, uh, were deported from uh, Germany and became, uh, my father was a miner and he spent his whole uh, life working in the mines. Um, when I turned uh, 16, I spent one summer working in the mines, in the Dome Mine in, uh, in, uh, up north in South Porcupine, and also the following year at 17, I spent another year at the Hollinger Mine. Um, the deepest I went underground was about 3,400 feet. Um, I played all my um, minor hockey, yeah, house league hockey, basically. I played house league hockey in South Porcupine. Played baseball in the summertime and swam, and of course, all you had to do in the wintertime was play hockey or or, or skate because it was, it was so cold up there. They had a lot of outdoor arenas, and um, I just played to enjoy myself. Uh, I didn't realize uh, down the road I was going to make a, a livelihood out of playing hockey. Someone saw me play um, up north when I was about 14, 15 years old, and asked me if I would be interested in going down to Kitchener to play with the Kitchener Green Shirts. There was a Junior B team in Kitchener. And just try out, uh, just turning 16, they said, I'm just gonna come and just get a feel of what, what it's all about. And probably the following year, I may, might make the team. And um, when I was there, they decided to keep me. And my partner here with the golf course now, Danny Sagan, he came from Sudbury, and he was 15 also. And uh, we both went down there thinking we we're just going to stay there and then go back home. Uh, they kept us both and uh, played us on the, the fourth and third line. And by the end of the season, uh, we ended up being on the second line. And then from there, we played uh, our second year Junior B in um, Kitchener. And we won the All Ontario that year. And, then we progressed to the Kitchener Rangers. Uh, Danny, of course, and myself, and uh, a few other players that uh, we graduated from the Junior B team. We played with the Kitchener Rangers uh, for three years. Um, at the time, uh, it was still um, fun. Uh, money or making the, a, a livelihood out of playing hockey was, I, we never even thought of it. We were just playing it for fun. Um, then the Kitchen, Kitchen Rangers were affiliated with the New York Rangers and there was no drafts. Uh, basically, the Kitchen Rangers had the red, white and blue and we wore the red, white and blue so they uh, uh, asked me to sign uh, for the instant trying out for the New York Rangers and they, they signed me to um, a two-year contract that was in 68. Originally, uh, uh, just coming back, we, we lived in New York for the winter time, but in 1970, we um, decided to run a hockey school, to start a hockey school, and uh, we bought a farm here in St. Mary's, which we're living on right now, and uh, we built a camp, and uh, we had kids that came here um, uh, from all over the United States, from Newfoundland, California, a lot from New York, New Jersey, uh, and anyway, uh, we we would sleep uh, 60 to 70 kids here a week plus day hops that would come in from Kitchener, Stratford, London, and so we'd have over you know over 100 kids here at this hockey camp, and we ran this camp for oh 15 years, uh, basically my whole career uh, while I was in New York playing hockey. Uh, in the summertime, I'd come here and run the hockey school. And uh, we ran it like for the 15 years. And then once I got out of hockey in 81, when I got an eye injury, the next two years I was assistant coach 
and the tenants started dropping. Uh, so we just we decided, well, we're not going to run the hockey school. We we want to try to do something else with the place. But we didn't know what to do. Uh, Shamrock Hockey School at Lucan. They came in here for about seven years. Uh, they ran a hockey school. We had the Lions Club come in here. They had the international groups came in here. Mm -hmm. They had all the flags out here. Um, but we're still looking for something to do with this property. Um, at the time when we bought it in 1970, it was just pasture. The land was all pasture. And um, we talked to uh, the conservation, the Wildwood Conservation, uh, the guys there at the time, and we asked them if they would plant some trees on our property. And that was about 1972-ish. Um, and so they, pl they, they did, they planted about 40,000 trees, assorted trees, walnuts, evergreens, uh, maples, uh, oak. And so they covered the whole property with trees. Uh, and the reason we did that was we weren't farmers. We didn't know too much about farming. And we didn't want to do any maintenance to the property. We figured we'd just fill it up with trees. So we did, we planted all these trees and um, they, were, they were growing and, and they were looking nice. It took a while for them to get there. Into our about 12th or 15th year, we still had the facilities, the place was zoned park and recreation, and we said, well, we have to do something with this piece of property. We, we're either gonna sell it to somebody, let somebody do something with it, or decide to do something with it.